Hello there, everybody, and welcome. Patrick CC dropped another video, and I think I'm subscribed to him on my other channel, so I'm not sure why I didn't see this. And so, out of the I five mean, major American out, sports, so. basketball is the hardest sport to make it to the pros. Really? One in twelve thousand three hundred sixty-three yeah. players, or point zero zero eight. I didn't know. Hey. Uh, 8% of players will get signed to a professional really? team. That's crazy. To put that in perspective, if every dot on a basketball represents one potential pro signee, Damn. three dots out of the 35,000 will make it. The NBA also happens to pay their players the best, with the That's average true. salary per player being roughly $10 million per year, which would place you in it the top 0.1% of earners in the United States. So someone like John Morant, securing the extraordinary job as a professional basketball player means he has basically won the lottery of life. He worked extremely hard and is being rewarded at the highest level of his like efforts. And instead of building his legacy and setting up potential generational wealth for him and his family, mm. he's deciding to take on the role as a gangster rapper, yeah. assaulting people, flexing weapons on Instagram, and trying to prove to the world that he really is about that life. Only person who made the NBA to go back to the hood. Ja grew up in South in Carolina hood, in a small, quiet so, country town. So bro went from suburbs to NBA to hood, which is that was because he never was called Dalzell. Dalzell is a few miles outside of Sumter, which is ranked as the 46th most dangerous city in South Carolina. 46. He went to Crestwood High School, where student academic performance is just about average with the entire state. It's pretty mm. safe to say that Ja grew up in a very average American suburb, surrounded by slightly above average crime rate, and went to an average school. We have no reason to believe that he is a gangster or is gang affiliated in any way. He has no criminal record, no history of violence, and really only a few minor arguments on the court, which is extremely normal. Ja has two loving parents who have always supported his basketball dreams and are very proud of him. His mother describes him as a genuinely loving person. His father, T, used all of his free time to privately train Ja and help him become the superstar he is today. Morant is only 23. He was drafted as the number two overall pick by the Memphis Grizzlies in 2019. He won Rookie of the Year in his first season after averaging nearly 18 points per game and every year his stats have just gotten better and better and this year he's been on fire with a 27 point average while shooting 46 percent in the 2022 offseason jaw signed a five-year extension with the memphis grizzlies this contract would earn him 25 percent of the salary cap yearly which is estimated to be around 40 million dollars per year putting Damn. him roughly in the top 10 earners in the entire nba his performance in the first five seasons are reminiscent of derrick rose russell westbrook and Allen iverson ironically ai and jaw have even more in common indulging really? in a lifestyle that is synonymous with rappers, more specifically, gangster rappers. Allen Iverson liked to party, go to clubs, drink, and gamble, which ultimately led to the downfall of his career. Ja Morant, as of recent, likes to show people how tough he is. On January 3rd, 2023, TMZ reported that Ja Morant was allegedly involved in the attack of a minor during a basketball game in July at his Tennessee home. Because your lives are forever. Look at them showing jewelry. Hey, and I don't even got I don't even got anybody. I'm gonna cry in the corner. Hey, don't you dare kiss on my screen. Don't you dare do it. Oh my goodness. How could you do this? Love entwined. No, exclusively fuck you, K. at K. Exclusively at K. My I have a surprise for you. I have a surprise sorry. for you. What? Let's say that at hey. the same time. Okay, three, two, Aren't one. you on the wrong show? I think it's the to cabin in Vermont. Beach. Free cancellation on most days. Well, that's oh, good too. That's nice. Booking.com. Booking. Yeah home the two got into an argument okay. and the teenager said ja approached him put his chin on his shoulder and asked a bystander should i do it to him then struck him with a closed fist knocking him to the ground from there ja continued sticking him while on the ground and another man jumped in and began hitting the boy as well officers in the dock say they noted the teenager had a large knot on his head ja says he did strike the boy but he was acting in self-defense after the boy threw a basketball at him morant told officers mm -hmm. the teenager made verbal threats stating he'd light his house up as he was being escorted off the property. There are also separate reports that say that Ja hit the boy 12 to 13 times and even went into his house, grabbed a gun, and put it in his waistband, taunting the boy. Now, NBA news outlets were harping on the fact that the kid was 17, but to give Ja the benefit of the doubt, if a 17-year-old these days most definitely could 
light your house up. The four people involved in Pop Smoke's murder were 19, 18, 17, and 15. It's easy to see 17 and think of an innocent boy, but that may not be the case. The teenager did press charges, and the boy's mother demanded $20 million from Morant, but the charges were dropped due to insignificant evidence, and it was looking more like a false allegation for someone to make a quick payday off an NBA player. But four days before this fight, Ja had another police report filed by a security guard at a finish line in the Memphis Mall. The altercation started after Morant's mother had a dispute with an employee, which led her to call her son. Ja showed up with nine men. A verbal confrontation transpired, and then a member of Morant's group pushed the security guard in the uh, head. My Morant is on you. All right, all right. He's spelling his own kid. Bro, why would you, why? That's his mom. Why would you call your son? I call your husband. Why are you calling your son? Like, you already know your son shouldn't be doing this, and you're bringing him into situations he shouldn't be in. Grant then said, let me find out what time he gets off, which made the guard want to file a report as he felt threatened by Morant's statement. Now, Ja had the opportunity to show the world how gangsta he was when Shannon Sharp pressed the Grizzlies on the sidelines of their match against the Lakers. Shannon yelled at Dylan Brooks saying, he can't guard LeBron, to which Dylan responded, f*** you. Dylan Shannon retaliated bitch. and stood like on the sideline bitch. begging for Look them to dirty. get in his face. Like dirty Ja's face. father T even got up and barked at him a little bit, but nobody wanted to get up and close to Shannon. Ja yelled from across the court, and the Grizzlies... And as soon as people tried to usher Shannon away, that's when the Grizzlies decided to try and press him. Shannon later said, They don't want this smoke. They don't want problems. But I wanted everything they had. Fast forward one week later, and Ja got into an altercation with Chris Duarte of the Indiana Pacers. Chris pushed him three times while Ja repeated, Don't touch me. But Ja had some plans for retaliation after the game. Acquaintances of Grizzly star Ja Morant aggressively confronted members of the Pacers traveling oh, yeah, party I don't know near how the they... team's bus in the loading area they were back of there? Oh, no. Arena. And later, someone in a slow-moving SUV, which Morant was riding in, trained a red laser on them. We don't know if Ja was the one who pointed the laser, and we also don't know if that laser was attached to a gun. But was Ja trying to do the first post-NBA game drive-by? I guess by comparison, it's not as bad as Gilbert Arenas. The Wizards player in 2009 brought a gun into the locker room and threatened to shoot one of his teammates over a card game. But let's not forget that last year at 2 in the morning, Ja said to a Twitter op that it's free to see how hollows feel, referring to hollow tip bullets. And if that evidence wasn't enough, just last week, Ja went on Instagram Live while he was at the strip club and You know what's funny about this? They, they got pictures of that nigga getting lap dance, and then I checked the comments, and then they were like, damn, it's not like he got a girlfriend and a daughter. <laughs> I was like, God damn, that's crazy. Flashed a gun to the camera. This action ball. prompted a two-game suspension, First as well as Ja deactivating all of his social media pages. Obviously, 99% of people denounce this behavior, but some people like Gilbert Arena. Look, bro. Look, bro. I don't care if he has a gun, bro. That's not the point. He could have a gun. Nobody cares about that. Him showing it off, pointing it at the camera of Instagram. That's the problem, bro. I don't care what y'all say about John carrying a gun. Nobody cares. Bro, nobody cares if he has a gun, bro. You could have a gun, but they, they don't want it on NBA facilities, and they don't want it pointing it in Instagram line, bro. You could have it, but... Come on, bro. And Paul Pierce defended Ja. Better than having it, not needed than needed than not having it. Ja has you don't everything need to be going right for him. He's living a life that's near impossible to achieve. So why does he want to run around and act gangsta now? Bro, you not hard. That's not your life. People that in that life would give anything to be in because Bro, your not lives again. No, I refuse. You will not. You will not. You will not. I refuse. You will not. Okay. I guess. Ever entwined. I guess we're watching this. I'm not. I'm not ending this out. Look, look. We're gonna watch some kissing for us, bro. Close your eyes, kids. You too young. Love entwined. Exclusively at K. I remember you saying I won't forget the life jackets. Who talks like that? You apparently. Can we just can we watch the replay? I would love it. This what really happened replay. No, I don't is care. To you by bro, hurry up. No one would challenge protecting your home and auto with Progressive. Oh, that is embarrassing. Yeah, a little bit. In your life, 
damn, I swear sports and music are so synonymous because we want to be them and they want to be us. Those lyrics come from Thank Me Now, the final track on Drake's 2010 debut album yeah. Thank Me Later. Rappers love the esteem, the money, and the safety that basketball players have, but basketball players love the lifestyle that rappers have. We know that Ja loves NBA Youngboy. He is constantly going on IG Live rapping along to his lyrics. Uh -huh. Youngboy has a way of making his nefarious lifestyle sound fun and exciting, he even does. though it's extremely stressful and he likely has a target on his back 24-7. Like sure. we said before, Ja is from a small suburb in the middle of South Carolina, and we have reason to believe he's had a pretty solid and stable upbringing. He moved to Memphis, which is known for being a dangerous city, home to a lot of famous rappers. He became the face of the Grizzlies franchise, so everyone in the city loves him. When he goes to the club, where real- They said dangerous rappers and they put Emily Chopper. Is Emily Chopper considered a dangerous rapper? Like, I'm curious, because bro been on spiritual shit. I don't think he's considered a dangerous rapper. Is he? Like, I'm so, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Is, 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 is he? Like, I'll check out the comments later, but I'm, I wonder. Real Memphis gangsters probably hang out, they likely show him love. Even rival gangsters in Memphis could probably bond over the Grizzlies being their favorite team. He's getting a taste of their lifestyle, the lifestyle that his favorite rappers glamorize. They are bringing him places he never would have been able to go, and he probably isn't too worried about his safety because he doesn't have enemies. He wants the power and the respect that comes with having that? worried about his safety because he doesn't have enemies. He probably does now. <laughs> or get in the West. He wants the power and the respect that comes with having street cred, but he doesn't have to risk his life for it, and he has a guaranteed $10 million yearly salary. Ja has everything they don't, and he wants the one thing they have. But the one thing that they have requires them to be alert and prepared to risk their life at any given moment. Some people say 23 years old is enough to know better, but there's no doubt that a small reason why he's acting out is due to his age. 23 with enough money to do whatever he wants is dangerous, especially when his father is also indulging in his son's success. The NBA definitely wants to see Ja succeed, but if he continues down this path, he will be ostracized by the media, and eventually it will will be too risky for any team to bring him on. His career will be cut short similar to other players who have tried these antics in the past. And the funny part about that is, his new friends that are bringing him into this lifestyle won't be there for him when he isn't a star basketball player anymore. Mm. Patrick CC was some facts at the end of the video. That may be true. That may be true. The fact that his own mother called him up. That's what I said. I'm like, ain't no way his mom called him up. Like, call your husband. Or call your, your older brother if you got a brother. Or call your younger brother because your younger brother going to be stronger than you by the time you 30 or some shit, whatever. I don't care. But why are you calling your son? Like, if, if my mom... No, that would be dumb. If my sister ever got... Like, I do got a sister, I guess. Stepsisters or whatever. If my stepsisters ever got into a scuffle, they're calling their husbands. They're not going to call their son. To come up and beat this niggas up. That makes no sense. When she got into an argument at the mall so he could come by and threaten the other person. Shows it. Like, that's just. Ooh. It is he came from a wealthy family, even if he went to a private school, he just went. Like, bro, what do you mean? Why make assumptions? Why do you assume his mom said, pull up with. Bro, his mom called him, said, I just had an argument with somebody. Come up here and deal with me. I'm pretty sure she said something along those lines, bro. What do you assume to happen? What why do you what do you mean? What do you assume would happen? Bro, it, it's context, my guy. But first she called her son, and she knows her son hangs out with people, and she knows her son has that thing on him. So that was just done. But like, subscribe, see you guys later. Let me know what you guys think about this. And hopefully, bro. Changes before it's too late and he regrets it. But what do I know? I'm only 21, so I'm two years younger. And like, subscribe. See you guys later. Hope you have a good day or night. And bye.